Brooklyn Independent Television. I mean, I, I consider myself a painter, I guess, first, but like a painter with a love for music. So if you're a painter with a love for music, you, you quickly sort of run out of possibilities with a flat, static image on a wall, on a canvas. I wanted to make painting sort of operate in the way music truly operates, which it moves through time, you know, it's, and it's constantly moving. It's a motion painting, so each day it changes, and today I'm going to write the word okay about a hundred times. Okay, 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 okay. Paint's cool when it drips as well as when it pools. I, I want to play with all the ways you can make paint move. We've got a camera that's fixed, and it'll always be in that relationship to this floor, whether I tilt this thing up or leave it flat. I like to look at galleries and museums as the resonators. I did a piece called Granny that was um, skins stretched over square frames on the wall and then play a beat on top of them. Tune one like a snare, tune one like an 808, and uh, everything in between that you might find on the drum kit. I learned how to transform paintings into drums by studying the piano and the player piano specifically. That's the early jukebox. A drum or a speaker wouldn't really carry much boom without this hollow cavity. I feel like the hollow cavity of a gallery or a museum is zero and until it's actuated. Speakers look good, man, because they're like eyes or they're like, um, I don't know, they're, they are drums in a way. They are, they're like our sort of generation of drums. I mean, you know, people want to make a noise and let people around them know that they're here and alive. I think speakers kind of mean that to a lot of people. This is my little, you know, travel, travel carry-on luggage, you know. Take it to the airport. It works. It's actually, it's not finished, but yeah, it's got, it's got, uh, there's a whole, there's a whole kit inside this. I like what that says as a visual statement. That says, hey, I'm here. We were the last of the vinyl generation. Vinyl, 12 and a half inch squares are vanishing. It's like a petrified block of memories. I felt like as a boy, New York was calling me. And I didn't know how I was gonna get here, but I knew I, was, I could draw and paint. I went to SVA for two years and then transferred to Cooper. I graduated from Cooper Union and um, yeah, art school. Whew. I don't want to turn people off onto art school, but I would say that like New York was my school, and and uh, a lot of what I do is actually retaliating against a lot of the advice I was given in art school, with a few exceptions. I had a bunch of throwbacks to the abstract expression era as painting teachers who were encouraging students to work in the mode of Jackson Pollock and Rauschenberg and de Kooning, who are all great painters. But that, that language was their language three decades back. I wanted to participate in something that was my language, the stuff that I was feeling as a 12-year-old proved to be more important for making me continue the pursuit of making art than the stuff that was in the, in the books. And, in the museums. On the other hand, there were some great experimenters who were like pushing boundaries in ways that I didn't know about. I found people like Hans Hacke and Tony Ausler and Robert Breer to be inspiring. And I like being around other artists when they're making their paintings or their sculpture, sculptures or whatever they make, you know, I, that, that's the time when it seems alive to me. I mean, I, I don't care much for it when it's like in an art fair or on an auction block or like with a frame around it in some museum. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but it's like looking at evidence, you know, something that went down. 
I want to be and invite people to be there when it's going down. My, my philosophy is to continue to go over and reinvestigate and like use that thing as a point of departure. I mean, to start with a white canvas, not my uh, ideal surface. Canvas, canvas is for like sneakers and, sh and like sh jackets. You know, it's like painting is fluid, man. P painting, painting. When you're working with paint, you're moving something through time that gravity has an effect on. Artists take cues from nature, so everything is in change. Everything is being destroyed and rebuilt every day, every second, in every atom of what we experience as nature. So why would art go against that? Paintings are really dead. The, uh, the idea is to, to reactivate them and look at, look at why you like to make paintings, because you're trying to search and create something, you know? So I want to share that experience it's not about this final product. It's about the process, and it's about enjoying the hell out of the process because that's what makes you happy. I could give a shit about paintings on a wall, but making the painting on the wall is my, I'm, that's where I'm happier than a pig and shit. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.